In tonight's Military Matters, Three Corps is 100 years old and Fort Hood is celebrating throughout the year with some of those celebrations starting tomorrow. Channel 6 military reporter Jillian Angeline spoke with two military vets who are also veterans of America's Hammer. Doug Leslie, when retired Lieutenant General Paul Butch Funk first got to Fort Hood back in 1962, the staff buildings were still wooden back to World War II, including the Three Corps headquarters building. And his son, now Three Corps commander, was actually born here. Funk tells me he has been back and forth serving under divisions at Three Corps and leading Three Corps three times. At its peak at Fort Hood, there were 49,000 soldiers, more than 100,000 people. He says it was hard to even find a place to live at that point. Funk met retired Command Sergeant Major Donnelly McMillan back in 1962 when they were both serving. They've remained friends ever since, and McMullen tells me Three Corps has had quite an impact on foreign policy, especially in the recent wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. He says it's unique for an Army Corps to last this long. McMullen says Three Corps needs more combat power, and Funk agrees. We have really downsized the Army in terms of its combat power in the last 19 years. And so because of that, I think what you'll see is a reversion back to more what we call heavy forces, call them armored forces. Funk also tells me he believes robots will be used more often in the fight to keep soldiers safe. The ceremony tomorrow morning will include both the youngest and oldest soldiers at Three Corps. On Fort Hood, Jillian Angeline, Channel 6 News. Back to you. Hi, Jillian. Thanks.